Hello everyone, this is Debbie from Project 39 Mini Albums. I just received my box which had my design team package from Country Craft Creations. And they did a video yesterday showing you all of the fabulous things that I received in that box. I had also ordered some things not for the design team projects, but some things that I've been wanting to get. As you know, I, I travel. I live in my RV and craft and travel. And this year, well, we call it the year of flying by the seat of our pants. We didn't have reservations. We went boondocking in places that were so beautiful. I didn't realize the country had so many beautiful places. So I wasn't able to get mail. I mean, I could have had it sent to a post office, but it just was easier to wait. So I waited and finally I'm in a place for more than a day or two. So I ordered stuff and let me show you what I received. I just sort of stocked up on some staples and, um, and then I purchased some other things that just caught my eye. So if you are not familiar with Country Craft Creations, they are in Hooper, Utah. They are building a sticks and bricks store. I know you're looking at this black stuff. That's pretty boring. Um, when they build the store, I will let you know. I might even go check it out. So anyhow, one of the first things I ordered, it was out of stock last time, but they get in their shipments pretty regularly. Why, why would you want black chipboard? Um, a couple of reasons. Number one, I did this project and I did several to go along with this. Do you know what this is? You probably have no idea. This is a glue holder. Now I'm going to be doing a project for that and other things that can go on your desk as a crafter. And it would have been great if I had some black chipboard as the base. So um, stay tuned. We will show you that. Um, also, there are other projects that you can do with black chipboard. Now you can get regular chipboard and paint the sides, but I guess I was feeling lazy. So um, four sheets of black 12 by 12 chipboard. Fabulous. And then I got some other goodies. So I got a couple of the Graphic 45 regular tags. Now they call them regular tag albums because you could just put paper on them and put pictures on and use the ring and you're done. You have an album. It makes it even easier if you have this Graphic 45 metal die. So this this is not really part of it, but there's the die. And they sell it in different sizes, but this is for the regular one. And if you were to use this for paper, it fits right inside of that. So that's fabulous. With the different size dies, you get different things. This one happened to be the gears, which is fabulous. So this I did not order this time. I think I got it last year. Anyhow, that was from Graphic 45. As you can see, I, I was high on Graphic 45 this year, this month. Tim Holtz, uh, Country Craft Creations just got in a shipment of a lot of new Tim Holtz stuff. And one of the things they have were these word plaques. Now you could use them for different things, but what I want to use them for is uh, Traveler's Notebooks. That one says Lost and Found. Um, you know how sometimes you have the elastic on the outside? Well, you could put this on the elastic and it makes a nice band. I got two sets of it. So this says Lost and Found. Also use your wings full of wonder and live your story. Any of that would be fabulous as a travel journal. So, um, you know, as I meet people, as I RV, uh, it's nice to give something to people along the way. All right, I also got this uh, Distress Embossing Glaze in Salvaged Patina. I just was thinking of like a verdigris kind of look. And so I just like this color. And then I also got the Distress Paint in Tarnished Brass. So this, along with other things in my stash already, would make some really cool three-dimensional projects. Stay tuned. I'm going to play around with this. We'll see. We'll, we'll see if what's in my mind actually comes out on paper. Okay, look at this. I'm sure you've been looking at it. 
This is Nature's Notebook. It is from Graphic 45. Um, it says 2020. I think they reprinted it. It's an older set, and I have wanted it ever since I have seen it. Um, and again, I'm thinking of sort of a traveler's notebook, nature notebook kind of thing. So let me show you what's inside. Um, so, you know, if I don't know about you, but when I go hike, I take pictures of like a plant or a feather or an egg or a butterfly. You know, my husband will take the giant vistas and the views and the mountains, and I take these little teeny pictures. I mean, this kind of thing. You know, a plant, a feather, an egg, a butterfly. <laughs> exactly. So um, I just thought this would be a great backdrop for those little pictures. And speaking of backdrop, isn't that cool? Hmm. Looks like some of the ponds I've seen. Uh, here's a nice... Uh, compilation of different elements and there's the back of that. Isn't that a pretty color? Again, butterflies, flowers, eggs, feathers. Either I saw this first or they knew what I was thinking. The back of that is just a nice pattern. Some sketches of different things. This is what I was thinking. When you say nature's notebook, you think of hand-drawn elements there is the B side of that. Uh, some border strips. It says be yourself. Life is the flower. Love is the honey. Butterfly kisses. Uh, talks about all the Latin names of um, botanical, lepidopterists, entomology, botanist. Oh, and isn't that pretty? Their backgrounds are just gorgeous. I don't think you can fully appreciate the color from my camera. Here's another fabulous background. Ferns. I like ferns too. I see ferns and they just intrigue me. Now this is fabulous all by itself. So this paper is called Diary of a Botanist. I mean, look at that. Isn't that just all fabulous? Some of you are thinking, oh, lady, this paper's been out forever. Yes, some of you may be very familiar with it, but then again, there's some of you that may not be. This is pretty. I, if I had wallpaper in my RV, I might do something like that. You know, when you plant flowers, you're supposed to have all different kinds of forms, and this is a great... Um, like there's the round flower, and then there's a spiky flower, and there's that interesting shaped flower, and then a beautiful fern. More ferns. They must have known what I was thinking. Fabulous, isn't it? And bees. All right, can't lie. I'm not fond of being near bees, but I appreciate their beauty and their importance in the world. Butterflies are very pretty, very colorful. And that's, uh, I would say, black and white, but it's the sketched version. This is called Monarch Majesty, is that paper. And here's some cut aparts. So, again, beautiful colors. And look at that. I don't know that I would use that as a wallpaper, but that would be make a beautiful card. And then with this, you also receive stickers and a chipboard. So beautiful. All right, so that was Nature's Sketchbook, and I loved it so much. I purchased two, but I'm not going to open that one. And then this is the new Graphic 45 that just came out in March, I believe. This is called Let It Be. Um, and it's beautiful. So let me go through this as quick as I can with still doing this justice. Here's sort of the cover page. Love that. And my name, Debbie, means Queen Bee. Don't know if you knew that. I don't know if it's true or not, but it's what my mother always told me. My mother is always right. 
There's the back side of that. This paper I liked in all by itself, and I purchased some extras of that one. And there's the back side of that. Sunflowers just are so bright and cheerful, and there are so many collections. In fact, Country Craft Creations has a new sunflower collection, and they've got one for um, for U Ukraine. They still may have some in stock, but they're just so pretty. I love sunflowers. So there is the cut apart sheet. Look at that border strip. Sort of a stylized sunflower. I think it's just beautiful. And there's the back of that. Sunflowers on a red polka dot background with some bees. And green polka dot for the bee side of that. Tiny little white dots on a black background with the sunflowers and some red flowers with it, and that's the B side. Can you see the uh, octagonal honeycomb shapes with the bees? And there's the B side of that. Ha, B side, ha, ha, ha. Um, I love this. Again, I love these stylized sunflowers, but don't worry, be happy. It's just so adorable. They make a stamp set to go along with it. I think it actually says, don't worry, be happy on it. I did not get that. I'm sort of sad I didn't. And then here is black with, it's not white, black with yellowish gold. And the B side of that is a stripe. That looks like a B, doesn't it? That's fabulous. And then with that, you also get the stickers. So cool stuff on the stickers. Lots of things you could use if you're making a mini album. Look, these by themselves, you can use that as a, a turnbuckle. I don't know what you call it. Um, yeah. Or you could put that in as a banner. And then I purchased some additional of this paper. I just liked it a lot, and I thought, well, if I was going to use this, I might use Fussy Cut the Sunflowers, uh, if I'm in the mood for fussy cutting. And plus, that is a good B-side paper. And I got an extra one of these. And then I also purchased some chipboard to go along with that collection. I like using chipboard as different elements in mini albums. And then also to go along with it, and I'm not going to open this up, um, but these are the patterns and solids. Graphic 45 comes out with fabulous patterns and solids to go with the collections. And this is no less beautiful. You could do a mini album just with the patterns and solids and maybe the cut apart sheets or maybe the chipboard elements. I don't know, but I just think they're beautiful and uh, it's always nice to have those. And it stretches out the paper. I mean, you could do two mini albums with the one collection and the patterns and solids because you get 16 sheets of these. So fun stuff and it's a lot. I'm going to be in my craft room for a long time. Oh, there is more. There is one more thing. Ta-da! As you know, as you may know, um, this is glue. It is made by the Art Glitter Company. So we all call it Art Glitter Glue, but it has no glitter in it. It also cannot be shipped when it there's a chance of freezing. Also, I didn't have an address to ship it to, and I was almost out. There is this much left in my big container of glue that I purchased um, maybe in October uh, because I wanted to have it through the winter. I take it and I put it into this smaller container and uh, I work off of it that way. I probably should have purchased a new smaller container because it gets a little wrecked up. It's not terrible this time. Um, but it's easier for me to use the smaller container. Some people like using the 16 ounce. This is two ounce. 
wait, that's a 16 ounce. Some people like using the eight ounce to pour it into. But as I told Tamara from Country Craft Creations, I almost was out of glue. I might have to go clean my house because I couldn't stay in my craft room anymore. But she came through, saved me from that. So that is all of the fabulous things that I got in the design team package and more from Country Craft Creations. I mean, there's just so much. Um, I have lots to do to stay busy, don't I? That is what I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fabulous day.